Tell me action. No action. Action. He's a demon on the piss. He reckons he's a rumbler. But there's much more than this to mark the merry mumbler. He cares about his mates. He's true blue through and through. The quality I buy just between me and you. But Mark's got a problem. And it's my problem too, I suppose. He wants to be immortalised in prose. He put me to the task. He told me, didn't ask, a poem, Steve. You've got to write me a poem. So at the risk of being corny, I'm going to tell Mark's story and you'll get to know him by his poem. But first, let's make it clear that to me he's very dear. It's his ethics, not his antics that I love. His friends count to him through thick and thin. And when push comes to shove. Yeah, you know, when he's in a stick, he might be pretty rough, but one beer's too much drink and a thousand's not enough. When he's on the trip, he's pretty funny. He likes to cope, but that costs too much money. One night we did get on the piss. And on the trips and on the speed, Mark went mad and terrorised all night. Mate, give it a miss, I said. Let's split and have a feed. You're far too out of it to fight. Well, Mark, the manic mangler, he ranted, he raved. And then the trip kicked in and he was suddenly depraved. Any chick went past, he grabbed him on the arse. He was very badly behaved. To make matters worse, he had stamina to boot. That speed would keep him going through till morning. To top it off, he was dying for a route. They must have known he'd never raise a horse. <laughs> I realised with a groan, I've got to get him home. That's another story in its own. If I let him drive the car, he would have rolled it. He used up all the speed. We could have sold it. Every stupid joke he must have told it. He kept on asking as a holding. He stanked me for every bit of folding. When I got the bars at home, all he did was moan. You should have heard him bitch the ungrateful wretch. That's right, Mark the merry mumbler. Drunken, bumbling stumbler. Grumbled as he fumbled for his keys. You finish me poem yet, you bald-headed git. Finish me bloody poem, will you please?